Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a Sephora haul. So I went to Dubai probably around a week, a week and a half ago now. There is a massive Sephora there and I ended up coming out with a bag full of makeup. So if you want to see what I picked up from Sephora, then just carry on watching. So I can't get Sephora in the UK. Obviously they have their like website, but it costs like over £10 to ship and then you get charged customs. So I've never bothered ordering off the website. So when I saw Sephora, I just couldn't help myself and I had to go in and now I'm broke. I wanna do that like typical disclaimer. I'm not trying to brag, this is all my own money. My parents didn't give me money to go and spend on makeup. This is all my own money and I can choose what to spend it on. And I like makeup, so I spent it on makeup. So my top matches my eyeshadow kind of. Didn't even notice till I just looked in the mirror um because i'm that cool right so a couple things weren't actually from sephora i got it in duty free at the airport but i thought there's no point me calling it like a sephora haul plus airport duty free haul just thought i'd call it a sephora haul plus you can get these in sephora anyway the thing i picked up was the nars creamy concealer in the shade um vanilla got the nars foundation and it is my favorite foundation in the world um, so I thought the concealer might be good as well and it was had like four pound off it um, So I thought I would just buy it um, and I haven't tried any of this makeup yet as I wanted to save it for the video So um, I can't really give you um, What's it called? So I can't really give you like reviews, but I think I've nearly got like a full face amount of makeup so I might do like a full face of first impressions um, but I'm really excited to try this as I love the NARS foundation um, and I think this was like 1850 at the airport or something like that which I thought was really good so I picked this up and I'm really excited to try it. So then I also picked up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I was deciding whether to get the water version or like the tube I think it's just called the photo finish primer and um, but I went for the water one but I can be like you know but I don't know if this is actually gonna like sink in like a normal primer would um, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway um, and I've been wanting to try this for ages um, but I just haven't ever picked it up so when I saw it at the airport I was like you know what we're gonna pick it up this was around like 19 pound as well um, or like 18. I'm not really sure as it was like duty free prices. It's really bad but I don't really usually use primers like if I'm filming a makeup tutorial I'll use a primer but if I'm just in a rush I can't be bothered to just blend it in so with this I can just and be off do you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a try so yeah pick that up. Moving on to what I actually picked up from Sephora. So I've used the Superdrug Iron Beauty Blenders for a while and they are really good like they are really really good but I thought I might as well pick up the Real Beauty Blender as everyone I've spoke to has been like yes you need it it's like such a life changer um, and I was always hesitant because it's like £15 for a bit of like sponge but I thought while I'm in Dubai while I was in the shopping mood, I thought I'd just pick this up. Um, and I haven't yet tried it as it's really clean. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to try it because my beauty blender is basically dead now. Like I overused it way too much. Like you don't even want to see it. It's actually horrendous. Um, so I'm really excited to try this and see if it actually is better than the other ones and if it's worth 15 pound. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this, but I just want it to stay clean. But I know it's not. So I walked in the Sephora and like you had your normal rounds like Too Faced, Makeup Forever, Smashbox, like all of them. Went to the back of the store and I saw Fenty Beauty. Now I lost my, like, I was gone. Like, tears were coming out, literally like, <sighs> because I was gonna order this foundation online but I never knew what shade to get and I would be so annoyed if I got the wrong shade. So when I saw this, I was like, keep calm, Lily. Don't freak out. Like, picked up the Fenty Beauty foundation. I got this in 180. Now, I don't even know this, if this is my shade or the Sephora lady was just trying to sell it to me. Um, but there was literally like no shades left, obviously, because it's so popular. Really, really excited to try this. Um, and if you want me to do like a first impressions or something, hit me up in the comment section.
if you want. So obviously I don't know any of the prices because they're all like 150 dirhams, which you know, you just I just can't convert that to you right now. Um, but I'm, it's probably going to be around the same prices in England. But while I was there, I just had to pick it up, and I'm so so excited to try this. So then I picked up another foundation, and you might think this is a bit excessive. You've picked up two foundations. Um, I've wanted to try this for ages. <laughs> Can you speak, Lily? No. I wanted to try this for ages. None of my towns near me, like even Debenhams or something, don't have this in store, so I can't actually test my shade. And again, this is like quite expensive, so I don't want to just get the wrong shade. So when I saw it and they had all like the things there, before I pick it up, I need Y245, um, and I got it in the stick version. Um, the lady, in the store was like um she wanted me to get the uh, liquid version so this has more coverage than the liquid one and i really wanted this one like, i went in the store to get this one don't know how it's going to blend like i've seen people use it on youtube obviously and it looks like it blends really easily but i just need to see for myself because i don't want it like clinging to dry patches and stuff but i gotta try it first so yeah so then i picked up the becca champagne pop highlight um and i wasn't actually going to get this um, but when I swatched it, I was a bit like, yeah, I might need that in my life. Like, this is, like, really expensive for a highlight. And I've told myself before, I was like, you know what, Lily? You've got your sleek highlight. You've got your MAC highlight. You don't need this. But when I saw it, I was like, yeah, yeah, I do need this. This up. And again, I don't really know how much it was. But I literally don't wear eyeliner. Like, I just... I don't really know why I don't wear it like I don't really have like the eye shape for it because my eyes are quite hooded and like I know people are going to come for me like your eyes aren't hooded but like I purposely put eyeshadow like on top of my eyelids so you can see it more part of my eyes quite hooded and eyeliner I just I don't know but I thought I'd pick up the Kat Von D tattoo liner I've got a really nice applicator and I think it'll be really easy for me to like start using eyeliner because i really like eyeliner but i just don't think it suits me but so this again wasn't from sephora i literally ordered it the day i got back so the day these launched i was like i need that so it's basically the mini huda beauty um palettes and i got mine in the warm brown obsessions now i thought this was going to be bigger like when it came i was a bit like okay the pigmentation like i have swatched these is incredible like so just like size comparison here is my hand i have very small hands so it is quite small if i could make a palette it would literally be this it's got one shimmer one two three four five six seven of course it's gonna be nine lily me i only use like one shimmer in like one makeup look if you will um so i prefer a palette with more mattes amy got the what's it called basically it's like the neon version of this and we're like swapping because i love bold eyeshadow also love like my warm eyeshadow so does she so we're just gonna swap um but if i do like her palette i'm probably gonna have to buy it for myself but yeah bloody love this and this was 25 pound which i thought was when i got it i was a bit like did i just spend 25 pound on this but now i've like seen the colors and swatched them i was like okay lily it was worth it up was a pair of huda lashes and these are the samantha lashes and i've actually got them on my eyes now you want to know what they look like <sighs> there you go so yeah i really like these and um, this is probably like my second time wearing them i was meant to save them for the video realized i ran out of eyelashes so these were like my emergency ones so i had to pick these up um and um, and I think they're definitely worth the money and I really want the oh, I can't remember what they're called, they're like the Noel no, 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 no they're not what they're called um, but I'm definitely going to pick up some more of these because I love them right so that was the end of the video, if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, also comment any video suggestions you have down below and I will be doing a makeup collection soon I probably say this in like every video um, so any other suggestions other than a makeup collection because I will be filming one of them but I just need to like 
organise it all better because it's quite messy at the moment. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!